there's plenty of people that are willing to teach you. Um, and, you know, they're walking around, they're like, hey, you know, I understand this. Do you want to understand this? You know, why don't you listen to me? Um, and teachers of non-duality um, kind of do the same thing, right? They kind of use words or actions or like the, a way of being um, to try and direct you to do something. Um, it's a little curious, but I guess it makes sense, you know, as humans, humans like to act, they like to express things, they like to say words, it's kind of that's their way of expressing the truth of non-duality is through sort of words and actions and feelings and expressing themselves. But in the same way, you know, rocks have their own way of expressing non-duality. Um, so does the sky, so do stars, so do trees. Maybe you can just tune into it in any place. You know, in a person, or in a rock, or in the sky, or in a wall, in a little, tiny little spot on the wall. Then you can realize it just like anything else has realized it, because it's already there in anything and everything. And once you realize that it's there in anything and everything, you stop looking for it. And when you stop looking for it, then you stop doing a whole bunch of things which are really, really painful and hurt quite a lot. So I quite recommend it if you're interested. But you don't have to listen to me. You can listen to anything.